standing in front of the brand new 2015 Super Duty F450, where Ford just introduced a brand new what? A new Super Duty 450. It's actually back like it was, 2010, 9 and 8. The 19 and a half inch wheels, 12 ply tires. It's the big truck again. And the big news is there's a new and improved diesel engine under the hood that Ford says gives you better horsepower, more torque, and better braking. Better exhaust braking, yes. That's been the biggest gap in that the truck Ford's had is exhaust braking. Now you'll be able to use the grade shifting with it and not go up against a rev limiter. It'll slow down so much better. It's saying you don't have to use your foot on the brake. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. Engine. Tell me about what you've done. How have you improved it? Well, what we've done is we've uh, we've started with uh, air and fuel handling systems. We've uh, upgraded the turbocharger, essentially making it bigger than the old one. It's a, a, an evolution of our existing design. Essentially, all we did was make it bigger. And uh, in concert with that, we've also changed the fuel system to allow us to run that bigger turbocharger. We have a new injector that better atomizes the fuel allowing us to maintain, or in some cases, improve our fuel consumption and maintain our emission ability to stay in compliance and keep the truck green. Now, have you released uh, torque and horsepower numbers yet? No, no, we have not. Those will be coming later on next year. Okay, and tell me about the new engine brake. Uh, the engine brake is a feature that's enabled by this new turbocharger. It's a bigger turbo, it's stronger, and that allows us to uh, not only make more power going uphill, but when you get over the top of the hill, you want to have safety and security going back downhill, and this engine brake feature, basically we close the veins of the turbocharger, allows us to uh, let the engine do what the foot brake used to do. And uh, we're adding a substantial amount of capability uh, to basically allow most people under most situations to maintain 60 mile an hour going down a 6% grade. So if you're in Colorado and you're going down from the Eisenhower Tunnel down to Dillon, you can just hit that, is there a button? Is There's there a, button? a button. So you yeah. hit the button and just let the truck do the rest. And let the truck do, and let the engine brake do the rest. You might have to, depending on passing situations and so on, you might have to use the foot brake still, but the uh, likelihood of that is much reduced. Now, how about fuel economy? Any numbers there yet? Uh, we're essentially carryover from previous years. This, so, uh, more this, power. this, this was uh, mainly a performance program, and the idea was to maintain or, in some cases, improve fuel economy. So, most customers should see the same or better fuel economy that they had before. All right. So, typically, uh, uh, you know, city city type driving, they won't see any change, and when they're towing with the trailers, they'll see about the same as they saw before. And how about capability? Will it give the truck any more towing ability? Uh, they are offering improved towing ratings in each of the uh, in some of the vehicle segments. I'm not up to speed exactly what those are, but there are some enhancements in the towing ratings coming. I think we're at 33.5 now, and there's going to be some numbers up 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 over 35, I believe. probably spent a lot of time working on this engine, right? Oh yeah. So what are you proudest yep. of? Right from the beginning. What am I proudest yeah, of? Well, the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. And, and you know, being able to stand here and watch, watch uh, my vice president talk about how good this thing is and what it's done for us, that's what I'm proud of. Ken, do you have any questions I should be asking? Uh, David, yeah, I'm Ken Selling, Mr. Truck.com. I can. Uh, you were talking about the exhaust brake. Yeah. Now what's different than the last time before? It was an EVRT. It was a a variable uh, variable geometry turbocharger. Right. The wings yeah. close up on. Well, let's let's come over so here and look at it. Yeah. What's different? About All right. That from the other one? What's different about it is it's bigger. And being that there's bigger bits in here, these veins are all larger than they were before. It's just a larger turbocharger than we had before. So it's strong enough and tough enough that we can clamp down on it. We can clamp these veins shut when you're going down a hill and block the exhaust flow from coming out of the engine more than we could before with a smaller unit.
right, because that was my biggest complaint with the other engine back to 2011 is I could never tell the exhaust brake was working. It was great shifting. Right. And there's no button to push. So you couldn't make, right. make noise. Right. So now yeah. you're able to hear. Now you have a button. Uh, and I'll just have to caution you that unless you're in really high engine speed and you push that button, you probably won't be able to hear it, but you'll be able to feel it. So when you're going down a 6% grade and you push that button, you'll notice that you don't have to touch the brake anymore. At you, all? At all, okay, for the most part. Before you had to push or the certainly a lot hard. less. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, today's truck, you gotta, yeah. today you Great have to push the, push the brake pretty hard to maintain speed with this one. I'd be surprised if you have to touch the brake more than two or three times on a long grade. So that should also help a grade shift better because it won't back up against the rev limiter. Right. It'll immediately pull down. Instead of shifting the wrong direction, it'll shift down a gear. Correct. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's exactly what I wanted you guys to do. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've uh, we've uh, that was the one of the three. There's three aspects of this program. There was torque and power for advertising purposes, and around town drivability. Secondly, we want better altitude performance, uh, like the video showed at Eisenhower Pass, we're a lot faster than we were before, pulling heavy loads. And then the third thing was going downhill, we wanted to enhance our engine braking capability. Okay. Now and we bigger, think we have with this with this unit. Well, I hope so, because that's what we've been looking forward to now. Yeah. Is this bigger turbo, have more turbo lag? Because the other one was great, it would just take off and you didn't you didn't have any leg at all. Let me, uh, let me be, the best way to describe this is the vehicle does not have more turbo lag than it did before. The turbocharger itself, because it's bigger, if right. you just put this turbocharger on a gas stand and tested it, you'd find that it takes longer to build boost than the old Spool one did. Up, yeah. But you, you, you customers, I think, care about whether the vehicle has turbo lag and not whether the turbo itself, how it performs. So what we've done is integrated this in with the whole vehicle with the new torque converter, and uh, this new turbocharger and the new fuel injector such that we get the same throttle response that we always had. In fact, in some instances, it's even better than it was before. Well, that'd be pretty amazing, and that won't be affected by axle ratio like a 430 versus a 355. If you have a, if you got a, if you got a 430 axle truck today, and you take this 15 truck with a 430 axle, you'll think the throttle lag is the same or better than it was before. Well, that's good, that's good, because yeah. I, I like the way it was. Yeah, because that's a logical question. Anybody that says, oh, you're putting a bigger turbocharger on, you would expect that it won't have the, the same throttle response. Right. But we've worked around that by integrating the whole vehicle to have the same drivability that it did before. Is the EGR cooler and the intercooler all that the same? The EGR cooler is the same as it was before, and the, uh, the charge air cooler is also the same as before. Those are carried over. Radiator's bigger? Or the same, uh, same? same radiator. Same radiator and same low temperature loop radiator as well. As, as you're probably aware, we have two cooling loops on the truck, and we still have those same two cooling loops. Right. We really like that uh, cooling loop, the second cooling loop, because that reduces the amount of intake charge air that's under boost pressure, so that gives you a little better throttle response. That's why we have that on. Cool. Then, uh, did you change the grade shifting any on the transmission? Uh, no, the shift schedules are pretty much the same, so as you as you pull a place like Davis Dam, you're still going to see shift points at full load that are about the same as they were before. I'm the chief program engineer for all of Super Duty, so I'm okay. responsible for the Super Duty truck line. Okay. Well, I, you know, I went in 2008 when the 450 came out as a pickup truck. I loved it. I mean, it had 19.5 tires, you had 10 roll wheels, big wide front end, and that balancing, whatever that harmonic balancer in the back frame is. So even in the 488 gears, it ran great. I was so happy with that truck. And that's probably the first time a slide in Lance Camper was legal. You know, and the payloads, so I was just so happy. And then we changed it all in 2011 and went back to more of a one ton. Right. Uh, you know, with the smaller tires, the eight bolt and the 17 inch wheels. So I guess, was it just because me complaining or why did you change it back? Or? Absolutely, <laughs> we, we listened to you. You said you wanted it back, so here it is. No, we, we really are, it's a customer driven thing that well, not just you, but a lot of people are looking for capability. Right. So we upgraded it to the bigger wheels and tires and back to kind of where it was in 2008, but there are a number of improvements. Uh, top speed is faster than it was before. Uh, we've changed the ride. We've put the balancer back in. So some things are old, 
but we've really upgraded it as a uh, refined it from where it was. Well, that's great because I really like that. I miss that. A 10 bolt tire, 19.5, 12 ply tires. So now you found a 12 ply tire that was like Z rated or something to go 90 no. miles an hour? What did you no, we're, we're a little bit faster than what we were before just from a rating standpoint. We went out and tested it, got it up to pretty much max capability of where the tire is rated at. So okay. um, it'll be faster than the, I think we were 81 miles an hour max before. Right. So we'll be a little north of that. Well, that's good. I, they, they rode great. You know, they turned nice because you got that wide front end on it. Yeah. Say the same width as what's on a cabin chassis. Yep. Same and width, same the, axle. The, the 350s are getting some more axle ratios because I kind of missed some of that. They. Yeah, we're getting a, changing it a little bit. So uh, different rear axles and different ratios, but it's really maxing out the capability. We want to make sure that the towing capability is really all the way pushed to the limit. So 350 has been upgraded to that kind of level. 450 again has taken the big step up with the 19 and a half inch tires and wheels. Well, great, and the brakes are bigger. You said the brakes. Brakes are, now are bigger cabin now. We're, size. we're cabin chassis size, so they're bigger than what the 350 has on it. But 350 is the bigger brakes that we brought out in 13. Those are those were new in 13. That's still on that product. It's the same frame you had before. Same frame. Same wide frame. Yep. We've got the brand new heavy duties here, the 2500 and 3500. So I've heard best in class um, uh, payload, tra payload and trailer towing, conventional trailer. bumper towing, Correct. yeah. Yep. And, and basically um, a new truck, but similar chassis from the outgoing Yeah, the, the, the chassis um, uh, we redid all new in, in our 2011 model year, and it's basically set the standard at that time for, uh, for performance, structural capability, and. Uh, 